If you swim in the sewer, you catch something. And Mark has. I went past her to cry. Was well, so you just busted in there? Look, let's go somewhere else. And she talk was about crying, this. left crying her eyes. Don't give it to me. What's going on? Look, let's go out. Phil, please. No, no, no. You had your chance and you blew it. Look, give it to me. She's crying her eyes give out. Oh, you stay out of it, you. Look, you've no right. No right. What are you talking about? No right. I'm her father. Give it to Lisa. Don't tell him what to do. Phil, please. She needs me. She needs her mum. What are you doing? She's yours! You keep out of this, you nosy old cow. You're always sticking your snout in and ruining things. Your son stole my granddaughter. He did no such thing. He's been pretending she's his all along, walking around with a great big smug smile on his face, knowing that Phil was the father. That's not true. Well, I don't see him denying it, do you? Come on, let's go. That's right, you run away, the pair of you. But there's nowhere to hide, is there? Because everybody knows. Good old Mark Fowler couldn't meet a better bloke when in fact you're nothing but a filthy, cheating little liar. What did you say? You heard. All right, Mum, that's enough. No, no, I won't shut up. You, Pauline Fowler, you've always looked down your nose at me, haven't you? You sneered at my sons and my daughter. You think you're so superior, don't you? Your husband was a thief. Your son's got HIV, and the whole lot of you are a pack of liars! Look down my nose at you, you bet I do. Look at him, the last mangy stray from your pack. No wonder Lisa didn't want him for the baby's father. No wonder she wanted someone to be caring and look after her. She stole his daughter. She was protecting Louise. With a father like that, what chance in life would you have? The only thing you can say about Phil Mitchell is it's a miracle nobody shot him sooner. <laughs> You, don't you start on me. I said get out, you cheap crooks, I don't back. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And what's this? Strawberry blonde at 70? That's real, is it? Shut up, I'm not 70. No, but you look it, I'll tell you what, Peggy Mitchell, you're filth. You had a villain for a son, a villain for a husband, and a fiance who's a pervert. Do you think I'd let you near that little girl? Stop it! Get out! Stop it, the pair of you! Look, I'm leaving. You're gonna pay for this. Oh, you heard me! Get out! It'll be my pleasure. Should never let Steve Owen near that baby. No, too right he shouldn't. And of course he gets away with it. He's okay. Oh, forget about Steve. We've got to find Lisa. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, Terry. I just heard the news. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well. If there's anything I can do. Yeah. Now isn't a very good time. Look. I know what you're feeling. So you know, just. All right, I'll, I'll let you know. Thanks. I'm going, Mum. Well, hang on. I'm coming with you. And what about me? Peggy, I should go back to the Vic. I am her grandmother. But you told me that Derek was going to sort out the music. Well, he's doing his best. Well, the greatest hits of Shanghai Lil. If anything's going to spoil the mood of the day, it's going to be that rubbish warbling out. Really, Peggy? I suppose it wouldn't have anything to do with the lack of food, would it? What are you thinking of giving them? Crisps? And what about the bunting? It's rotten. Absolutely rotten. Yeah, rotten, just like this party. Dodgy decorations, Japanese karaoke, fat lot of help you've been. I can't manage something like this without support. You couldn't manage anything at all. Go to hell. I cannot believe you've managed to mess this up. If you can't organise a booze up in a pub, then what's the use? Look, I only took over because you kept running around in circles. Yeah, well, from the look of things, you'd be better off if you hadn't left it to me. You know what? I think you're really enjoying rubbing it in, aren't you? Look, if my half had been here, he'd have been out there pulling in people off the streets. He'd had a brass band, streamers from one end of the square to the other. He'd have made this a day to remember. VE Day was a triumph. Then why did it go wrong for me? Because it was Arthur's party, because people people round it go on oh, it doesn't matter because people love Arthur no they, they respected him he'd been round here a long time I know what you're saying they do it for him but they won't do it for me well Pauline you're his widow maybe they'll do it for you you can have a night down oh Peggy at least I stand by my kids no matter what. And look what you produce, two thugs and a slapper. You even drove your husband to drink. Yeah. And what did you drive your husband to, eh? If Arthur could see you now, he'd be turning in his grave. Huh?